Hey everybody, Economic Ninja. We're gonna talk about selling your gold and silver after you've already purchased it, when it went up in value. And you know what, without further ado, I don't know what to say, let's move on. All right, everybody. You know, sometimes it's a little hard to just talk to a camera without any script, okay? I just gotta say. All right, so um, this is a subscriber question. As a matter of fact, this came from one of my Patreons. It's a great question. Um, and uh, as a matter of fact, Patreons, I'm gonna do a question and answer video here pretty soon. So uh, please get your question and answers ready to rock and roll. And uh, we'll get one going out this weekend, okay? All right, guys, here we go. So says, hey, Ninja, I have a question that has been bugging me. I bought some silver, but I feel like I should buy more. It only makes sense except for one thing I fail to understand. How and where would you ever sell to get market value? Don't you take a hit when you sell metals like that because the next guy has to make money too. Thinking years down the road, of course, but still curious how that would work. Am I missing something? That's a great question. So what I wanna do is I'm going to actually go to my favorite uh, seller, uh, SD Bullion, and uh, I'm gonna go over some of their facts, okay? They've actually got a great web page on here, and I'm gonna link it in the description below, okay? So we're gonna go over those, some of those points, but let's look at the, just the common sense stuff, all right? First off, I would like to sell my gold and silver where I bought it from, all right? I love giving the local stores business first. I make that first and foremost. I think that is the pinnacle of our society, all right, is the small mom and pop shops, especially the gold and silver stores, all right? Um, so if I bought it from them, if, it's, if they're still open, I would like to go down there. Now here's the downside. Now first off, the positives is that you trust them. You've already been there. You've done business with them. It's cash and carry, right? You can sell to them, they hand you cash, you walk out the door. The negative side is just like this subscriber says, they need to make money. So they usually offer you less than spot price, okay? Now, that's not all the time. See, right now we're going through what's called a little bit of a precious metals mania. I don't know if you've been watching, uh, especially I gotta throw a shout out to my, my boys at Wall Street Silver and my gals, there's a lot of ladies out there too. And uh, at Wall Street Silver on Reddit, because they are, you know what, let's put the, can we put the little thing up there Editor, bam, Wall Street Silver, right? They call themselves the apes for a reason. They have got all kinds of great information on there about where to buy, where to sell all these different places. They're awesome. Love those guys. They're good hearted human beings and they're ready to crush it right now. So um, the thing is they do have to make their bid, but there is a, a, a strain on the market right now. So a lot of these stores, you know, at first glance, you'll walk in, you'll say, hey, I wanna buy some, or I wanna sell you some silver. And they'll go, yeah, no problem, 10% under spot. Um, some stores know how serious this is right now. And trust me, those other guys that are offering you 10 under spot, they know it too. But they're gonna try. They're gonna try and take that from you. A lot of guys will just come and say, we'll give you spot. There's some stores that will come in, I've seen them, they go, you know what, we're paying over spot right now. But a lot of them don't wanna say that because they don't want you, the consumer, going, whoa, whoa, why are you doing that? That's weird, all right? Um, but I, I love the people that are paying spot right now. They're just being straightforward and honest, look, I'll pay a spot right now because they know they could sell it for a lot more of a spot. So the one thing is if the guy says 10 under spot, what I do is go, all right, cool. Well, I want this price for it. Um, let me know if you ever wanna pay it. And I've actually sold some before years ago in uh, 2014 and they, uh, they at first balked at it and then called me, I left my cell phone number. They called me back a couple days later. like, hey, got a hundred ounces. I'm like, yeah, I got it, let's, let's do it. And uh, came in because they had somebody else that wanted it real bad and they knew they could sell it for a few bucks over spot and make a quick buck, all right? Now, online is really neat because, quite frankly, you're gonna go do some shopping around. And I always tell people, whether you're shopping at a mom and pop or you're shopping online, you have to shop around. That's all that matters is the price, right? However, a lot of people will pay a little bit extra because they've done business with that uh, retail establishment or that online establishment before and they trust them, right? But I still love telling people price. And you wanna know why? It doesn't matter that I have an affiliate link, which I've got one below for SD Bullion, right? They've been nice enough to give me that. It's really helped out the channel so that I have time to make movies or videos like this. But I still tell people to uh, pay the best price. And you wanna know why? Because that means that you could buy more silver. If you have $100 in your hand and you can only buy, what would you rather buy? Four ounces or five, you know, five ounces. If I'm just throwing out numbers. But you see what I'm saying? That's what's more important, getting more metal in your hand for the time when this metal increases, right? That means you have way more money, all right. The only facts are, is that every time I usually shop online, SD Bullion, they're usually the cheapest. So I, I mean, I have rarely ever shopped around, and I've, I've, I've done business with 
Oh, geez, oh. Lots of online dealers, lots of local merchants, and I think that's very important to get to know your local merchants, all right? But by and large, it's always been SD Bullion. So I'm going to their site because they've got some do's and don'ts, okay? Bullion selling do's and don'ts. Do shop for the best price offers for the Bullion products you are selling. They put that on the number one because it's the most important. Honestly, that's why I, I'm just literally reading this for the first time, so. Do not simply take the first offer you get when you are looking to sell bullion. Gosh darn it, it's like they know me. I'm not even joking, it's the first time I've read this. I just got on my cell phone, first time I've read this, I swear. I've already covered all this stuff, come on. Do your research between both local and online bullion. I don't, why do I even read this right now? I literally just did it, thank you SD. I like that they put this here. Do not sell your bullion on websites like Craigslist. Dangerous fraud, absolutely correct. If you're gonna sell your stuff on Craigslist, and as a matter of fact, we did once. Uh, one of my businesses sold a, um, I wanna say it was 500 ounces of silver. It was our company money, and, so, and it was on Craigslist. So what we did is that we met them at our local bank, and our local bank has an interior office, a secure office. So we came in, they all knew what we were doing. We uh, made the transaction and sold the silver and walked out. And so that, if you're gonna do it, that's what I suggest. It says, um, do consider, <coughs> excuse me, that often many high volume bullion dealers have published live bid prices for the products they are bidding to buy. Yet note, also these live bid prices or price posting bullion dealers may have hidden tiered volume and prices or minimum uh, buyback thresholds. So that's absolutely correct. It's like a teaser rate. They, they throw it out there, they say, this is what we're gonna buy it for. But then as you go to start doing it, they go, oh, no, 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 not at this price. Uh, sorry, if you're only selling this much, then we're gonna only pay you this much. And it's just to suck you in. And a lot of people actually fall prey to this because of insecurities, um, they, they don't wanna assert themselves, or they feel like, oh, you're the pros and I'm not, so I, this must be how it is. So be careful about that, okay? Um, it says, do not simply sell based on the highest price. Consider safety and the business track record of potential counterparty may be selling you to you. So that is absolutely true. It, it has to do with safety. And one way you do, uh, do safety if you sell online, because this is the truth, and, and actually I should have gotten into this earlier. These online uh, sellers, they are paying over spot right now. And that should tell you something of where we are in the industry. If they are willing to pay over spot price, right? Because a lot of people are going, you're selling a Silver Eagle for 12 or 14 bucks over spot. Now, I don't know where it is today, okay? I'm, but hey, throw it in the comment section, how much your greatest deals are. Um, you know, if they're willing to sell it for that much, that means they're having a hard time getting it. A lot of people are saying, oh, they're just running up the VIG, they're ripping us off and all this stuff. They're profiteering. No, don't be a dork. Look at their buy prices. And as a matter of fact, I wish I had it pulled up right now um, because uh, a lot of these buy prices are really, really high. Now, if you sit there and you think about this, one of the ways that you can save yourself is to uh, go out, and I'll pull up the uh, buy prices in a second, is to go out and when you ship it, you insure it, right? And what I like to do is if I'm uh, gonna do an online sale and I sell it to an online, I'm not gonna do it all in one shipment. I'll do it in a couple different shipments, right? Because the odds of them, um, something getting lost, and I have had stuff, lost and actually was stolen and it was stolen by the post office a postal employee so that's a whole nother story i'll tell you guys about but you want to do it safe you don't want to just go throw a thousand ounces you know and make it feel like you know 10 bricks in a box go with smaller increments right also you're playing the game that you might not want to sell at one price because it might go up a little bit more although it might also go down so let me go find the buy prices and i'll get right back to you okay <laughs> all right i'm back so it didn't take long it took about uh, 60 seconds to find this. It's under the, oh, I'm on SD Bullion right now. Um, again, I've got a link in the description below. So this is the buy to us or sell to us tab, right? In the, in the top left-hand corner on my cell phone. Um, 2021 American Eagles, they're, they're paying um, spot plus seven bucks for just random year, same price. For a, so now think about this, people are freaking out like, what are you doing? You're, you're, you're selling silver for, you know, 12 bucks over spot, 14 bucks over spot. Yeah, they're also buying them from you if you want to sell them because they're paying over or they can't get it at all from the mint. They're paying seven bucks over spot. I know people that are going, yeah, but I bought my silver at 30 bucks and it's only 28 bucks. I'm down and I bought it like five years ago. I'm like, well, don't be a dork. Why don't you go sell it for right now like 35 bucks? I can't do it because spot's 28. And I'm all, you have no idea where you are. Um, 
Canadian maple leaves are three bucks over spot right now. That's how much they're paying for them. This is crazy. Um, junk silver right now, they're paying spot plus $1.65. So my whole point is this. Also, I really wanna go with companies that have been around a long time, okay? And that are growing. Why are they growing? Because they do business well. That's why companies grow. Well, actually, no. A lot of them just go get a bunch of money off of Wall Street and then blow up and then explode. <coughs> Enron. But my point being is this. I hope you guys got something out of this. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. If you didn't, I apologize. Let me know what I can do better. I do need constructive criticism. I listen to all of your guys' comments. Although there are a lot of comments lately. I, I'm not gonna lie, you guys are crushing it out there. Thank you so much. And as a matter of fact, before I go, I wanna say one more time. I have the greatest subscribers on YouTube. You guys are the best because you care about yourself. You care about the future of our world and you are doing something about it right now because there's only so much you can do and so much you can warn. Well, why not just let the crazy happen and take advantage of it, right? I'd rather have the smart people be in charge in the next cycle than the dumb people. All right, guys, that being said, I thank you so much. The Economic Ninja is out.